Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to consolidate and export tracks in Reaper. Now you're probably wondering, why would you need to do this? Let's say you're collaborating with another musician or another engineer or producer, or even sending your tracks off to be mixed by a mixer. And the person on that side might be using a different DAW. Or if they're using Reaper, maybe they don't have the same third-party plugins or effects or virtual instrument plugins for the keyboard and synth sounds. So it's a good idea to consolidate and export your tracks in a way that's easier for them. So the project in front of us here, let's see what we have. There's some drums, a bass, piano chords, a pad, a piano melody, and another piano melody. Let's hear it. So we want to send these tracks off to a collaborator in a way that's very easy to be worked with. Now when we do this process, none of the volumes or plugins are going to go with the project. So if those things are important to you, we have to make sure we print them or render them. So all these tracks have effects on them. Let's take a look at them. On the drums, we have a compressor and an EQ. Those are not that important for this particular person to have, so I'm not going to bother to print them. But if I go down here to the pad and solo it, see how it's pulsing? That's because there's an EQ on here that's automated. Let's take a look at it. This is automating this low pass filter. So this is kind of important to the sound. If we take this plugin off, it's a very different part. So it's very important that we render this first, but we'll do that in a bit. Now we also have a track that's just MIDI, and there's a virtual instrument plugin that's playing the sound. So if this is bypassed, it doesn't make any sound. So we have to make sure we print that or render it as well. Otherwise the collaborator isn't gonna hear what we hear. And the last piano is just a compressor and an EQ. So we're not gonna worry about that either. So before we render those things, let's consolidate it and export it the way it is right now. Just so you can hear the difference and what goes and what doesn't. Now, if we look up here, I define some regions. There's a verse, a chorus, a breakdown, and so on. This can be exported with the file, depending on the DAW that's being used. But Reaper can stamp that information on our files. But the other thing that's gonna happen, and it's very important, is it's gonna consolidate the files. If we look at our bass track, there's many little files. We can't just give these files to someone and have them import them. They're not gonna know where it lines up. So we need to turn that track into one audio file. So when our collaborator imports it, he or she can just drop it on a track and it's gonna line up with the other tracks. So let's consolidate it the way it is. Go to the file menu, consolidate, export tracks. And this is the dialog that opens up. Over here we can choose what gets consolidated. The entire project, a time selection, which is grayed out now, because we didn't create one, or we can customize it by start time and end time. We're gonna choose the entire project, and then over here we're gonna choose which tracks. We can either select tracks over here, and choose selected, or we could just choose all, and then all the tracks are gonna be consolidated and exported. Then over here, we could ignore silence, that's shorter than 30 seconds, which can create multiple files per track, I don't want to do that. I want to have one file per track, so I'm going to turn this off. Then we have the sample rate, 
If we leave this at auto, it's going to keep the sample rate the same. But if our collaborator wants a different rate, we can just change it right here to 44.1 or 48. But I'm going to leave this at auto and use our project sample rate. Then we can go to channels. If we leave this on auto, the mono tracks will stay mono, the stereo tracks will stay stereo, and so on. But if we want to force them to be mono or stereo, we could do that here. But I'm going to choose auto. Then we could choose the resample mode, the quality of it. This only matters if we change this over here to a different sample rate. As long as it's the same, no resampling is going to occur. So we won't worry about that. Then we could choose the file type, WAV, AF, MP3, or so on. I'm going to use WAV. The bit depth, I'm going to use 24 bit because that's what my project is. And then for large files, you could choose this over here. Then down over here, we could choose to include markers or regions. I don't have any markers, but we do have regions. So let's choose to include them markers and regions. Then we could embed the project tempo, although I wouldn't recommend this. I have a better way of telling my collaborator what the song tempo is. Then we could export MIDI as an RPP file, which is only useful for Reaper, or we could use a standard MIDI file that'll work in any DAW. Let's choose this. Then we're gonna choose where the files go. I'm gonna browse in my directory to a folder called exported files. I'll make a new folder for this song, call it song A, version one, and here I'm gonna put the song tempo. If you go down here, the song tempo is 90 beats per minute. So I'm going to include that in the name of the folder. And we'll create it. And it shows up right here, our file path. This is where the consolidated files are going to be saved. Then we can choose to update the project with the consolidated files, which is going to replace all this with the new consolidated files. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn this off. We can save a new project based on what we're consolidating. I'm not going to do that either. And finally, we could save the current project before updating, which is going to save this version before we do this. So now we're going to process it, and it's going to consolidate each track into its own file that can be imported later. So let's do that. Now let's make a new project, just so we can see what it looks like if we import it. And again, this could be a different DAW, or it could be Reaper. So I'll go to my directory. Here are the files we just exported, right here. And notice the tempo is 90 beats per minute. So go down here and change it to 90. Go back to the directory, grab all these files and drag them in. This is what our collaborator is gonna do on the other side. Put them on separate tracks. And it looks like this. Now in Reaper, we can see the regions, verse, chorus, breakdown. Depending on the DAW that's being used, that might not show up. But we do have all the tracks, our drums, the bass, piano chords, the pad, the piano, which is just MIDI, and then our last piano. Now if we play the track, We lost our mix, but that's okay. We just wanted to send the files as is, with one file per track, all consolidated and with the names of the original track. But there's a few things we're gonna notice. If we go to our pad, listen to it. We lost that pulsing effect, because that EQ that we automated was never rendered. And also, our piano is just MIDI, so it's not going to make any noise. And if the person using this file doesn't have the same plugin, they're not going to get the same piano sound. So we should really prepare our files a bit better. So let's go back, and let's print or render some of these effects. Let's start with the piano. Let's render this track as audio. Right click it, go to render, freeze tracks, 
and we can render this track to a stereo stem, and it's going to mute the original. So it's rendering. Now we have an audio file instead of a MIDI one. And it should sound exactly the same. And it does. But now instead of deleting this file, we're going to export the MIDI just in case a collaborator wants to change the sound. But at least here's the audio right here. Now if we go to our pad, we want to print that pulsing sound. We could do the same thing by rendering it right here. But I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to go to the plugin, right click the effect right here, and freeze it to stereo. And that does the same thing, except it freezes the effect. But the track itself is now printed with that effect. So now if we consolidate it and export it now, it's going to be much clearer for the person working with it. So let's export it again. Consolidate, export tracks, the entire project, all tracks, auto, auto, wave, 24-bit, markers and regions. We'll still include the MIDI file. And let's rebrowse this to a different folder. Make a new folder, song A version 2. 90 beats per minute. And we can process this. And it's going to do the same thing, except those tracks were rendered. Open up version 2. The tempo is 90 beats per minute. Change it over here. And then drag these in instead. Separate tracks. And now let's hear it. So that's a lot closer to what we had. All the files are consolidated. In other words, they play from beginning to end, instead of being little files. So we can import them into any DAW, and they're going to line up. And our effect on our pad is now printed, along with our MIDI, which is now audio. And we still have the MIDI information down here. So if our collaborator wanted to use his own virtual instrument plugin, he could still do that right here. So that's pretty much it. That's consolidating and exporting tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.